Okay, this is going to be a quick video. We're just covering one of the features within Serial, the banding reduction. The banding reduction tool takes care of the problem with a lot of the Canon cameras where you end up with this horizontal banding going across your image, sometimes even vertical. Either way, this, this feature within Serial will allow you to reduce it, if not completely get rid of it altogether. It doesn't affect all of the cameras. Um, there's even people that have the identical model from Canon that have the issue. And then somebody else has that same model as well, and they have no problems at all. So it's probably based on age, how many shutters, how many images you've taken with the camera before this thing starts to, to rear its ugly head. Some people have good luck with resolving it by dithering, uh, adjusting their ISO settings. But regardless, if your images exhibit this banding, you can reduce it significantly, if not completely remove it from the image. So let's get to it. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, running serial version 1.2.0 beta 2. And um, for this demonstration to show you guys the banding reduction, I don't have any data myself that exhibited this issue. So the developers at serial were kind enough to send me um, a single five minute exposure that shows the banding in the image. So that's what we're using today. Uh, just a single image. It is not stacked. It is not processed. It's just right out of an older DSLR that exhibited the horizontal banding. So as we open it, just like always, it comes up in linear. So if we go into auto stretch, you can immediately see the horizontal banding going on in this image. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. So real simple, like I said, this is gonna be a quick video. There's not much to this, but if we come up to image processing and then banding reduction, we only have a few options here to play with. So um, I'll start with the defaults right away, just opening up the banding reduction tool um, we're leaving the amount at one and everything else ticked off down here in the bottom and hit apply. If you watch the image, you will see it immediately cleaned up this image very well. I mean, all the banding is gone, uh, but I want to go over a couple of these settings with you guys first. So we're going to undo that. The first one, um, the obvious is the amounts, right? So default is one. If we go all the way over the zero and hit apply, that's not going to do anything for us, right? So we'll undo that one again and we'll take it all the way over to the extreme just so you can get a better idea of what it's doing this is going to be way too much but you can see that it's you know it attempted to clean up more than what was actually there so it it, it left behind the banding right so that's the first setting you want to play with um, like i said for this particular image that they sent me landing right on 1.0 is a good place to be and we'll undo that now, the next thing that I want to talk about is even with the amount set to one, if you watch the image again as I apply it, it does take a little bit of the brightness away or it affects the brightness in the image. Um, you can see that when I hit apply, how it dimmed down just a little bit. Um, sometimes that's okay. Other times you may not want that to happen. So again, I'm going to undo this and I'm going to tick the protect from highlights and the protect from highlights are going to basically ignore any of the brighter pixels within your image. So default one for the Sigma factor. And if we hit apply, it removed the banding, but it did not touch the brighter pixels. Therefore, the brightness stayed more intact that way. Um, again, we can play with the setting. Let me undo that and we can take it up all the way to five and hit apply. See what kind of effect we have on there. I can still see banding at this point because it's really protecting the highlighted areas, the, the brighter pixels. So again, it's just another option for you to play with depending on the how aggressive you need the tool to be, how bad your banding is. And the next thing is vertical banding. So this particular image has horizontal banding, obviously. You could possibly have vertical banding as well. If that is the case, then as you've already guessed, I'm sure, just tick your vertical banding. And then when you apply it, it'll remove any of the vertical banding. This image is not going to have any kind of an effect on it because there's only horizontal banding. So we'll undo that. So then the last thing I wanted to talk about is the apply to sequence option. So the way this works is if you have a sequence already created with all of your images in it, and all those images had either horizontal or vertical banding that you needed to reduce or remove, then the first thing you would do is just as, as we have done here is load up a single image so it has something to work against. Play with your settings, get it to where you like it, where the banding is gone. 
and then simply just tick apply to sequence before clicking on apply and it'll go through and it'll remove the banding from each one of these images over in your sequence so there you go quick and dirty that's the horizontal and vertical banding reduction within Cyril once again I want to thank the developers for sending me the image to work with so I can show you guys how the tool works I also want to say thank you to my subscribers that have joined my membership programs both here on YouTube and over on buymeacoffee.com if you'd like to see your name at the end of the videos go over and join one of my membership programs and I'll make that happen don't feel obligated it's just a way to support the channel and i appreciate anybody that's doing that and as always appreciate everybody's time we'll see you on the next video and clear skies